The tiger falls for it hook, line, sinker. One less rival, one more meal. The kill is taken to a clearing. The forest dragon has adapted its ancient weapon into a culinary tool. Cooked meat is far more easily digested. But the flames draw another mammal near. A species that will prove a far greater threat to her survival. I came here to expose a hoax and suddenly a whole reptile family is coming to life. What a family. Of all the prehistoric giants, only yours survived the KT catastrophe. And you weren't the only dragon. Seems there was a forest-dwelling Asian dragon, a sea dragon too, just like the myths. Could there have been others? I need more time. The helicopter will be with us any minute and soon we'll be heading back to England. Once this thing's back in the museum, I won't get a look in. Until then, we'll keep scanning. You need to look at this. I've just noticed these fragments here. What are they? Crushed ribs? No, the rib cage is totally intact. But they're bone fragments, right? What are they? Well, that explains the weird proportions. Of course, it's got four legs and two wings. Six limbs. <laughs> no vertebrate that ever lived has six limbs. It's true, every land-based vertebrate on the planet has four limbs, front feet, back feet, arms and legs. And airborne creatures too, feet and wings, they all have four limbs. But not this dragon. It's got six, it can't be a fake, not now. But if those legs are for real, then they'll show up in its DNA. Oh my. Now that's some freaky mutation. This creature has a genetic adaptation unlike anything in the animal kingdom, and wouldn't you know it? In the gene responsible for generating limbs. And it's here in mythology, too. The Chinese, the Aztecs, Polynesians, they all drew images of creatures with the same adaptation, giant six-limbed reptiles. The clue was there all along. How could I have missed it? These drawings aren't wild imagination. They're records. These primitive people were telling us something. We weren't listening. And if the images are accurate, then there are even more evidence that there were many types of dragon and they lived everywhere on the planet. Okay, we've got evidence for a marine dragon, the sea serpent of legend, a forest dragon that lived in Asia, the Chinese dragon that adorns a thousand pots, 